The boxes were stationed outside of the White House. People were taking pictures of the GSA and the various I people. I've got to stop you right there, though, because moving. the Presidential Records Act, which is not well known to a lot of people, I read it. it. It does not say that you can take documents with you. It says actually that they it are the property you, of the federal government. It says you talk, you negotiate, you make a deal. It's not criminal, by the it way. Not, not, it's, it the not Presidential Records negotiate. Act is not criminal. And uh, just it so does you not know, say you can negotiate to just take so you, the documents with you. Can I tell you? Just so you understand, the Presidential Records Act is not criminal. I took the documents I'm allowed to. You know who else took them? Obama took them. Nixon took them. Obama Reagan did not took take them. Documents. Oh, he didn't? He, the, difference, he didn't. the difference here he didn't. that I'd like take to know. Reagan National took Archive them. says that President Obama even Jimmy did not Carter, take documents. Even Mike Pence had some documents, and he's a you very honorable Pence, guy. You referenced Pence. But you know Biden. who took them more than anybody is Joe Biden. He has 1,800 boxes, That's and nobody accurate, even knows where they are. You know 1,800. And nobody talks about him. Mr. President, and they that's put, not accurate. And they put a rough guy on us. And they, in I the meantime, they have nobody. I think it's important, Mr. Nobody. President, to actually set the record straight here. They took documents, including President or Vice President Pence. When they realized they had documents, they turned them back over. The difference is that oh. you waited to turn yours over. And it was Excuse a year me. and a half effort that included a subpoena with those documents. No, it, One question about what happened when you had those documents. It included a raid on my house. That's what it included. But they you didn't raid. A, you'd gotten a they subpoena didn't raid and they Biden's had not house. been turned over yet. They didn't raid Biden's house. You know what happened? He, they put him in the house. That's the one with the Corvette, where the documents were laying all over the floor. That was fine. <laughs> and you know who ha happens to be at Mar-a-Lago? Secret Service, and they're phenomenal. I have Secret Service. He didn't have Secret Service. The other thing, the Vice President cannot declassify. He didn't have the right to declassify. He has documents from when he was a senator. And even Democrat senators say, I can't believe it. No, I went by the Presidential Records Act, That's not and we were negotiating with NARA. That's not what it says, And NARA Mr. has red flagged a thing called the Constitution.